All right, let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this one so far. Oh, what's up? I don't know if it was supposed to be stealth here, it doesn't matter. We'll see what happens. I want to see the iron hands, or whatever they're made out of. Taking over the entire mine. Right. Ah! Get him. You're gonna become enraged, I guess that's the, that's the thing it's hinting at. It's like just gonna... Inject some pure ether into himself, which good luck. Okay, hold on. I just noticed something. Okay. You might be able to hear the control effects. Maybe that was the case the whole time, but I turned them off now. It's like, oh. The sound coming out of the controller. It's just like, eh. <laughs> I don't need it. That's probably better. Checking there isn't anything else. Getting that right now. <laughs> Priorities. Back down. Wait, how do I get the one up there? That was a little awkward. I might have to use the uh, missile to get them. to die. There we go. <laughs> it's so awkward that it's on high ground. Alright, it's dead.
This must be the way out. I wonder if they just called fodder. <laughs> just unimportant. Okay, that seems uh, more of a challenge. I wasn't really sneaking past anything. Hey, Colin. Thought I was taking it there off. Nah, I just had bunch of work stuff to do, so finished pretty late today. I was debating it, but yeah, I'll just unwind by playing this. Jesus, this thing is tanky. It's over. When is my next day off? September. Unless I take, like, leave. End of September. By the flames. Come on, Togo. That's close. It's oh, like a month and a half away, if not longer. It's closer to two months than a month and a half. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the mother crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. How many PTO days do I get off in a year? You know, I don't know the answer to that, but like... I have accrued PTO. <laughs> to the point where I could take a very extended amount of time off. But I can't do that. Well, shouldn't do that. It's probably the better word. Let the trial begin. All right, this guy. It's all right, because the way it works in Australia is once you leave your job, that leave, uh, your employer has to pay it out. So it's not like it's lost or anything. I was supposed to uh, take a vacation, a long one, in 2020, but can you guess what happened in 2020? Get 
20, in 2020, it was like 10 years at the company that I work at. So like, when you reach 10 years, you're like, I guess the tradition is it's kind of unspoken, but like, when you start work at a company, you start a countdown towards this thing called long service leave. Once you hit seven years at a company, it is effectively guaranteed. So it's like you're always accruing it, but then once you hit seven years at a company, that's when it's like secure. So that's on top of your personal leave. And it's typically understood that when you hit 10 years at a company, it's like you use that leave to take a, a long break. Maybe not all of it, but most of it. And yep, COVID happened. So now I have my personal leave and that leave as well, just kind of stacked. Found a long of a break you can get at once. I believe the long service leave at the 10 year mark it gives you like is it four weeks or is it six weeks? It might be six. But that's how much it adds up to. And again, that's separate to your like personal leave. Yeah, Australia, right? <laughs> It's not bad. We might be behind on a few things, but that's one of the things we're not behind on. Oh yeah, and you know, after the seven year mark, it keeps going, so it's like... It's not like, oh, you're ten years at a company, you're not gonna get any more of that leave. Like, no, because now you've been ten years at a company, the counter just starts again, and you keep getting more. Except now it's secure all the time. Oh, jeez, what has this guy done? Alright. This character's kind of come out of nowhere. Just no idea who he is, but he seems to know who we are. Ten years is a long time. Well, it's now 13. <laughs> but yes, it is. Like, the ten years was in 2020. <laughs> We're well past that now. Bravery. Some opponents will use the ability Bravery. Oh, it's like battle buff. Okay. Who's, who's casting it?
The stomping ability. Okay. Level 30. It's like a... This is the throne room, isn't it? Alright, so... We should be close. First orcs, now these nightmares. Is this your doing, Ultima? Very fancy holes. I want to see the doggo transform again. I thought he'd be doing it more often. Is that? There we go. That way. The lemonade stand was success. <laughs> right. You were doing that yesterday. So weird, I've never seen one of those here. You've been busy, Kupka. <laughs> he smashed the he smashed the table in anger. She made over two hundred dollars. Jeez. He's in the sanctuary. That's more than a success. Come on, Toggle. I don't think I ever saw that amount of money as a kid. Streaming on Monday? Yeah. It's Tuesday is the day that I don't stream. I mean, albeit a bit late, but it's because I had stuff to do for work. Work for home, yeah, as always. It's just when you have to work with people with multiple time zones, you have to make accommodations. I mean, you're trying to imply that, like, work from home means that my job is easier, which it's not. It's like, I'd be doing the exact same thing I'd be doing at an office, sitting at a computer, using software to do my job. If you want, I can go for a drive for 30 minutes, and then that can count as, like, my travel time. If that's going to make it sound like my job is harder. I can go do that. You 
could do your job from home, but your overlords say no. Well, that's a problem of the overlords not being modern enough. It's alright, times will change, like, to remain competitive with other companies, it'll get to the point where, like, they'll just lose staff. Because a lot of people will have that as a perk of a job. And companies will offer that to be competitive. It's already happening in a bunch of industries. Better, better be the last of them. It's just one of those things. No matter how much they hate that stuff, it's something that's here to stay, and it's going to be a, a differentiator and attract talent. Surprised to still work from home. Would have thought they would want you back. Probably because the way it works is they have someone that's a voice of reason and it's like, oh no, this is actually working and beneficial. I, I've missed you so much. Coca! Or maybe they're just not they're not boomers. Where they think they have to keep an eye on their employees 24-7 or they won't do job work stuff. Wait, what? Why is Back stab you here? What's wrong with him? Oh no, he's hallucinating. Okay. He's hallucinating. He's hallucinating. Okay. Hallucinating her being naked in front of the crystal. Oh no, he's hallucinating more than that. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's totally what happened. That's totally what happened. Got naked. And 20 people quit, you don't think they've realized it. Yeah, well, that's just how it is. Is like companies like that, they have to get to the point where they get desperate. And it's either they realize it or they just go under. It's like, do you ever see the show Kitchen Nightmares? How Gordon Ramsay has to try and fix a restaurant's shit, and it's always the owner thinks that they're doing nothing wrong and they don't realize that they're just outdated or just not doing things correctly or trying to do things on the cheap and dodgy. And the story is the same every time. It's like 90% of the times these uh, these businesses go under because they just don't learn their lesson. That little voice, that little voice that's speaking to them in their heads going, no, 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 we're wasting money. No, 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 our employees aren't doing their jobs. Like just that distrusting voice just keeps coming back no matter no matter who tells them otherwise no matter how many other businesses are doing the opposite of what they're doing that little voice just keeps popping back in and eventually it's just they go under or there's a miracle and they learn their lesson which does happen so i would say look for work that offers that and then you can use it as a what do you call it bargaining chip it's like hey i can get a job that pays me this amount and gives me work from home give me work from home so he's corrupt now oh he grew his hands back okay we're gonna have to cut them off again That's why I love watching Kitchen Nightmares, like, I'm not one for reality TV shows, but there's just something cathartic about watching Gordon Ramsay just call people like that out on their shit and just, like, prove how wrong and how idiotic they're being. 
and how just the distrust and the way they do things is just not consistent or correct and yeah just the bullshit lies they try to give him it's therapeutic So, jeez, this thing must be the size of a mountain. Because, <laughs> alright, my icon is gigantic. If this thing is like five times the size of me, this thing is a mountain. Which I, I guess it makes sense, it's called Titan. That is creepy. What's he doing? Stone. Clive has learned the Brimstone ability from Titan. Hold R2 and press square to emit a violent explosion. Longer to increase the size. Okay. Let's give this a try. Oh, it's on charge. Ooh, it takes a while to recharge it. All right. This is not something I can just spam. There we go. Okay, I have to be closer. Pretty useful. So much for evading.
Really? Destroyed it himself? What? Or he consumed it. Oh, okay. What is this music? Feels like it's from the 2000s. Whoops. I'm doing an excellent job of aiding. Yeah, on the conversation that's happening, Australian summer holidays are in December, because that's when our summer is, and then currently now it's like a shorter break, because opposite hemisphere. How long have the just a break defense. Like, high school's different to university. It's different to TAFE, but generally speaking, the, the overlap is like December and January is off, and then the rest depends on exams. Like, the university I went to it was mm, start of November until, jeez, end of February? That was the break I had. But then in high school it was like end of November to end of January. November to March uni break was a cracker. You know what, like, I enjoyed at the start but around, I'd say like, middle of Feb, I just wanted to start. That that was just me. I was like, nah, I, I wanna I wanna do do what I need to do. Just get stuff over with. But otherwise, it's great. choice. Oh. He does have a heal. Jeez. Should have done summer school. Why? <laughs> I just... be a big, an even bigger nerd than what I already was. I was already like 17 in, in university. Nah, I just worked two jobs and just made money.
Oh shit. Pay more attention. So I'm fighting a mountain here. What's he doing now? It's gonna be <laughs> like content claimed, I bet. Oh shit, no, no, no. Oh. I bet if any of this hits me, it's instant though. getting more annoying.
runs. That's not fair. I can't see. Oh, what now? Oh shit. Okay, well. <laughs> I was a little disoriented there for a sec, like, what is this? Jeez. This camera angle. Okay. <laughs> I can lock now. Uh, yeah. That was the Talos. Guy that got jealous because. Oh, wait, it's not a fix. Thought we got naked with his dead girlfriend, I guess. Radiation hallucination. He's still alive. I cut off his hands. I beat him up. I beat him up as a mountain, and now I'm beating him up again. I just does not want to die.
Jeez. I mean, just for scale, like, my character... This demon thing is usually the size of a building. Not bigger. Thank you. Probably something you can't see properly. <laughs> it's just probably getting pixelated to shit. I would just not die. And yet, I st still think he's not dead. By the looks of it. Another crystal down. Oh no, okay, he got completely like radiated. Shit, his nose is bleeding as well. Is that you, Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will. Yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. With every sip you take, you grow in strength. 
and soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Mythos. It is inevitable. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Very extensive on the cutscenes. Oh yeah, man, this thing is like a movie. Voice acting as well. I don't think I've had to read anything really, except just lore that pops up that I voluntarily opt into. Then one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems... Not your jam. I mean, not everything can be. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. This is way less anime than it used to be. I mean, if you haven't been watching it from the start, it's kind of hard to come into the middle of it. And be able to follow it or take interest even as it swept him into the abyss one cannot change one's nature through force of will alone um, it's a very good looking guy can do that Hugo Kupka Man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. That booty. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. That the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. There's definitely been smut in this. Some medicine, my lord? I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. No, not smart again. You got caught reading some. What do you mean you got caught reading some? With the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. Did someone just look at what you were reading, and was just caught wind of the paragraph. Like, 
their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Like, to know it's smart, it either has to have a very obvious front cover, or it's like, listen, you can't judge a book by its cover, but, like, if the front cover is someone straddling someone else, then, you know, the book could possibly just be of one of two things. <laughs> or it's, they peaked, and they read, like, a paragraph, and they, they caught wind. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the Southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. It also depends on who would catch you, I guess. I cannot in some circumstances, you just double down on it. Just nod and be like, that's right. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> would the Titan's gone. A thousand pardons, your highness. This cutscene is like a Turkish drama. Should have seen some of the earlier cutscenes. It was very Game of Thrones like. I mean, the main character has seen some shit. Olivier has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and- Gah! Shit. That's, uh, that's mom manipulating her way into that. Terence. Yes, my prince. I must he might come back and... Already your steed. I don't think anyone's come back from the dead in this yet. What is it now? pretty dead. What the fuck? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit. I did not expect such a distinguished guest. What's he gonna say about his mother? How many years has it been I'm since curious. the remembrance ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Oh, come on, he's not gonna... Still hasn't been made apparent just to how exactly the fuck he's alive. I mean, his throat was ripped out. <laughs> how did he survive that? 
Magic. Well, yeah, clearly in this case, yes. <laughs> Definitely magic. He is the phoenix. This is one of the few times where, yes, that answer is enough. I'd better give Otto the good news. But I, I want to know what kind of magic. How? Because he didn't have control over it. should visit the blacksmith. I keep doing this. This is local map. Blacksmith is behind me. Okay. What became of Kupka? Why haven't we heard anything? I appreciate the minimal nature of this, but just it really needs a HUD. Wait a minute. Yeah. What percent am I? I have no idea. The state of our coffers is in Will it say when I save? Should probably save on that note. Doesn't say. I haven't the slightest idea. Okay, there we go. Not bad, if I do say so myself. It will last you a good while. Apparently I have the strongest weapon now. Maybe. Platinum sword. Oh, no, that was much better. Back, are ya? What's saying for you, dear? My best work, but it'll do. It only goes to plus two. Down to 42. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Hunter's Waste Class. Okay. Bring the materials, and I'll think about it. Anything else? I should look at what I have. So what does this do, anyway? It's just... Uh, it's... I guess... Hang on. I don't have that. How does it work? What do you need? So, what'd it be? Needs a hunter's. Okay. Well. All right. I can't craft the other stuff, but the sword at least is is upgraded. I miss the old base. The old base was so much easier to get around. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. 
One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. I still think this is just going to be a case of... <laughs> Everyone he knows is going to die. If you really want to know. It's just because of the powers that you have and you, what you can upgrade. There's still space for two more. I will. And... It's just like... Unless another character pops up, the character's going to be her. Because if you look at this, it's just... I mean... Probably three more. Unless I really just keep it like this. I don't know. Just haven't done most of the base abilities. Hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. <laughs> One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence oh. in 849. The Battle of the Maybe Tenders that's where we got a power from. The Battle of Bellinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? I mean, for context, he, they already have agreed that they're going to, like, invade because they're running out of usable land. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. 
and your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Okay, well... One thing I say, I'll say about this game is I kind of wish the side quests were a bit more involved. They're, they're very basic. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooker is dead. Jeez, his lips were not moving correctly there. Live up to the name. <laughs> oh dear. It's probably like made three sound because this is Japanese. It's like probably said three words in Japanese and that's a whole sentence. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Mm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. This guy and his fashion style. How do you main how do you maintain that? <laughs> no. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. But that's gotta be for fashion, right? And not practicality. Can it really be true? Because he doesn't he doesn't let it grow out extra long. He is a big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents. That He's stylish, yeah. There shall be Probably takes a couple of hours each, each morning just to set them up. So they're nice and neat. Brilliant. Probably picks the color of the bows. <laughs> or if it's like a rubber band. A new dawn has broken. It has. It's color coded, like he... Wait He's wearing blue, and the thing that's tying them up is blue. Hippocrates. If it wasn't on purpose, it'd be like either a different color or just oh, random. Came to me. This is coordinated. What he is. This is effort. Have you learned anything? Alas, no, and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. 
we see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. But I mean, the hat as well, like... It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Thanks to Sid. Look at everyone else's haircuts, they're just so plain. He cracked the crystal too. Wait, <laughs> I'm doing it again. Oh, I hate this hideout. <laughs> or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Right, father. Very well. I'll suggest it. Oh shit, it's Sid's daughter. And student of engineering at University of Canada from a young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father and an even greater aptitude. She is well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in the service of the highway. No oh, shit. But she just kind of just randomly appeared. <laughs> Maybe she was mentioned, but I guess it just didn't click it was her. Okay, stairs and then go around. Yeah, he briefly mentioned he had a kid. But didn't really touch much on it. I guess in the time skip, we know her now? I don't know. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Wait, where? Ugh, this map. <laughs> it's just... If there was a mini-map, I'd be able to just navigate a bit easier. But this thing is not helping. Oh, see, that's not helping. What? The marker is under me. There's probably an elevator that I'm missing. How, how helpful. Stairs. There we go. Jeez. Look at that, like, ugh, that's way too subtle. They should be, like, white lines so you can see. If I don't come up with something soon. Alright, Clive? What do you want? 
I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. <laughs> Me and my dad designed it together. The Enterprise, huh? rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water. Ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first. I need some parts mechan. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. <laughs> the axe and the air. And the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Definitely one of the more British ones. The more British accents. Luckily, you don't need to. That and that other guy. Talks a bit like this. On some water. I I really really want him to s just just say the word. It'll it'll make me very happy. But I don't think this has been an opportunity. Like he hasn't offered anyone a drink, or he hasn't talked about like sailing over the water. So at some point. chance to say I'm otherwise engaged and spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but... I what happened to Jill? I don't think she's around. She says she's coming with us next adventure. Alright. She's probably just like in the med bay because she was a bit sick. She did almost get her head cut off and then just had to use her power so you know she was coughing a lot. If that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. No, she just hasn't been around the last chapter, that's all. Your sword grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. 
And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. All right. Oh, I, I have to speak with him, apparently. Why? You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I'll take Gav. Gav, you're with me. I'm convinced, like, Gav has right some then. powers. Because the guy just oh, uh, seems to somehow... Somehow get into areas that no one else can. Like we're in a jail cell held captive and by no reasonable stretch of the imagination should he have been able to get in there, but he did. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. Alright. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Well we having a paddle, we having in the war. <laughs> Say it. Say it, water. I like to see him dry. In your own time. God damn it, he won't say it. I just realized it's not here. Said if I would have brought him with me, he may have said it. Okay, this city is just as bad. Yep, glad I looked. So it's this... This exit, right? No, hang on. This exit. Yes. Looks like I found the river. <sighs> Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. I don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. This is like the most typical desert mu music I've ever heard. So this is Stardust. It just looks like black sand to me. Stardust makes me think of the Yakuza games because that's the, the name of the nightclub that, uh, one of Kiryu's friend zones. A lot of shit just happens there. I'll get to Yakuza 5 at some point. Maybe in a couple games time. Ah, right. oh, damn it. Stay 
I think I may have gotten off far. Uh, <laughs> of course. Where the hell is it? Ah. Wait, no, it's not. What? Oh, it's like very subtle. I got five. Five what? Five. I got five. I got five on it. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. Fair point. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right, that's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead, and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Okay. Yeah, I wonder how much of the game is left. Like, I, I, I mean, it's hard to gauge how far I am into it without kind of looking up how long does it take to complete the game. Given there's been two time skips, I would assume at least halfway. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And like the second half of the game is going to remain here. Yeah, I feel like it's got to be the middle. Maneuvers together more often. You know, it beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. Or towards the end, you think? Oh, I'm putting this firm all plating together. I don't know. It'll take some time, mind. 
So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. There hasn't really been, I guess, a, the stakes haven't been risen, you know? Like, I feel like the stakes have got to get risen before it feels like it's getting to the end. Better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. I went up to give some greens to the chocobo, and do you know what it did? I will learn how to get around this base eventually. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures. Hey, I made it here without having to open the mini-map. I don't come up with something soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible. Is she wearing two scarves? Ah, but we don't have to. Look, it's Sorry. some weird collar thing and then so a scarf underneath as well. It's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces. Because that's, that's not part of the dress, right? The or the details. top. It's a top. What's her name? Right. Hmm. Just kind of noticed that. I was like, what is, what is that she's wearing? Because it's not part of the top. Wait, the assistant is down there? It looks like the thing Freddy wears from Scooby Doo. Oh. Yeah, I guess I've never really thought of... I guess it just looks a bit weird. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine, in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually... See, it's not, it's not always just magic. There's science. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer unwanted visitor. walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins.
Oh. See, these, these are pretty much side quests. So I saw no point in doing more side quests that were less in scope. <laughs> Bad at navigation. It's just that indicator is so deceiving. Please tell me it's this way. It's not. Oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> Dye my hair green and carry three swords. Good day to you. Went up another dead end. I swear. It's it's above me, isn't it? Nice map. Okay, I cannot possibly lose now. This is it. This is the path. These things are way under leveled. <laughs> Wasting my time. I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. The creature that has taken up residence, what is it? What is it, Toggle? Ah, oh, crap, this thing. This must be our unwanted visitor. Okay, this thing one-shot me. Time to go. I actually have to pay attention. If 
I land in that ring, I die. It's so dumb. There we go. Interrupted. Nice. No death. Farewell. That went much better than the first time I fought that thing. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I just realized Sid and Mid. Now. <laughs> Indeed. Well, don't let us Their names care. rhyme. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Okay, now we go back. Let's see if I can get there without looking at the map. Ha! I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. One more, jeez. This one's a bit of a bugger. Bugger. The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they'd both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. Another fetch quest. <laughs> I think it's just the upstairs and downstairs part that confuses me about this map. But I think I, I get it as like, you just always have to come down this way if you want to get anywhere.
Hello, fancy beard. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know. Oh, he's got a tiny bag around his neck as well. Able to search the records for one. Hmm. I just noticed that. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put. That's quest. Ooh. <laughs> the knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Thanks, fancy bird. Oh, I don't have to do anything. See, there's Jill. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Oh, so we got to pick her. I wonder if this decision's gonna have some sort of weight to it at some point. Shield Let's go, Jill. Guards against even the most ferocious flames. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Mm. 
Okay. File fetch quest. Yeah, I wonder if this has any impact on the story. No. I mean, other than this seems to be like you have a moment with the person you bring with you. There she is. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? Garlic, oh yes! We meet by the gate when we're finished. <laughs> oh dear. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the bush. Fresh cuts. Ooh, Come and get them before they're gone. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Garlic. I hope it's to your liking. And pepper nuts. Oi, don't touch anything. And good riddance. That's everything. <laughs> good riddance? Who says that? Nice shop. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. I can't believe we're making a ship that's protected by garlic. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Oh, looks like you just get to have a little moment with uh, the person you go out with. Hmm. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. That bread does look legit, not gonna lie. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Just, yeah, hopefully nothing happens. Nothing bad happens. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. 
Take care. Something does that makes this scene have more impact. Damn, now I kind of want a good sandwich. <laughs> I might go get one for lunch tomorrow. Just get some coffee and get a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Depends what I feel like, but... This is one they do, which is prosciutto, rocket, balsamic, tomato, and, uh, like, buffalo mozzarella. It's quite good. It does have a pesto chicken one, which is pretty nice. And it has brie as well. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the Moondew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank hmm. you. It was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. This is like, if I was to take a guess, this is a calm before the storm type scenario. Like, something bad's about to happen. It's just too much heartfelt and wholesome things happening that, like, shit's about to go down. Yeah, that's too nice, <laughs> given the tone of the game. Crap. It's the other way. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. I mean, the big threat was Kupka, and he's dead, so, like, something's gotta happen. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then, better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not 
thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. <laughs> didgeridoo does. Oh dear. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she she had no expression there. That like that was such a a giggle, but. She, uh, just no, no facial expression on the character of model itself. Okay. That, that was the most out of place one. It's finished! It's finally finished! Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> three more? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other she reminds you of Riku. Riku? From what? Probably a Final Fantasy game I haven't played. What's the matter? Nothing. Just... From X. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't played that one. What's that, Gammy? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just... One thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. It seems like she's. I know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Just burying herself in work. Mid told me she was building a ship. All right, Clive. Asterix. Mid finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her.
Oh. <laughs> She's trying to sneak out. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the Free Cities, by which I learned the endeavours of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. For which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration, your loving uncle. Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. She probably just doesn't want to come to terms with that. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the... It's understandable. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. I kind of figured she was avoiding it. When she said one more thing, I was like, she's not coming. <laughs> it's just... I picked up on that. She might still turn up. So this is where they... I guess it makes sense. Well, Sid... I remember what you told me. If no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If it had been with us, 
Maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Oh, <laughs> he's still around. Haven't seen goats in a while. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise! I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. I mean... It's the capital of the Empire these Going days. by the number of crystals, I guess this is the midpoint. Guarded. They've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Okay. New area. haven't done this in a while. Or in the Dalmecan Republic, which we've already found 
Oh. Belt. Onward. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. Thank you, boy. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, she's sick. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road yeah, eventually it'll get her. This is a question of whether it gets her in the game or not. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. I, just, I still think, given the tone of the game, like it's just gonna be. That thing is called a leg eater. <laughs> it's only interested in in fate. Oh look, a roaming side quest. I'm good. What fetish? Well, I mean, it likes to eat fate. It's not a fetish. It's not like it stops travelers and then it's just like, mm, look at those fate. <laughs> Consumption of fate. It's not a fetish. That'd be like saying that eating your favorite food is a fetish, you know? Then I would have a chicken nugget fetish, but when I say that out loud, probably not the best thing. sound amazing now well unless you have some in the freezer or have a 24-hour maccas near you i have all this money and i just don't know what to do with it <laughs> just been increasing That was weird. Trigger. Did not go all the way down. Don't have 24 hours. We we do. It's just, they're not everywhere. I mean, I don't have that problem because I live in the city. So, there's a lot of them that are 24 hours. But, it just depends where you live. The path continues on the other side. Do, but you can't be bothered. I feel that. It's kind of cold here. But I will say, like, the new sources they have, like... I don't lie, i kind of been wanting some... some nuggets. Just to get those sources. Have you tried them, Gammy? The, uh... The Outback Barbecue Sauce, or the... What was it? 
Bring a blank. <laughs> but the Outback Bobby is still so damn good. Wasabi Mayo, that's it. They have like a Wasabi Mayo as well. Didn't know if the new sauce was going to try it. Definitely try it. That... The Outback barbecue, barbecue sauce is like... Good barbecue sauce. It's rare. Oh wow, that looks cool. So this is the Megas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago... Man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Yeah, I mean... Still... Still waiting for that... That gotcha moment. Five. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Ominous. Meanwhile, what is mother doing? Oh, damn, that rain on the window. So are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. What? what? Jeez. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. <laughs> I'm sorry, this this kid is is still attached to like his mother. Basically his his mother's become to rule an empire. He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The mother orchestrated the this. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. I mean look at him, he's just so disinterested and just not there. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. I'm honestly the not pillars surprised. of the public have fallen. 
Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. I mean, the only way that could, the, the whole relationship that kid has with her mother could get any more creepier is, like, if he still feeds off her. <laughs> That's honestly the only thing. They are the words of a god. The Emperor the, oh, yeah, exactly, but that's to the extent that it is already. Made flesh. It's already in eel territory. Return to your camp, Dion. That's what the Be flower. Forces. He keeps doing that. It is time to show the world the true power of Sunbreak. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Do you know what I think is going to happen? I think this guy's going to kill the mother. And it's like the ultimate form of irony. Like, she's just recreated the exact same thing. It's like, this guy is basically Clive. Except, Clive's dad was nice to Clive, whereas in, this guy is not nice to him. And I think it's just like, this is what should have happened to her. It's a, it's a, it's a mirror image, almost. For reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers. I bet that's what's going to happen. And of the divine. Like, younger brother, that's more beloved, that's a chosen one. Him being not listened to and cast aside. It's like... You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! Yeah... You will bend the knee. I'm calling it now. This guy's gonna- gonna get her. Sire... Forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? That kid is like a Joffrey in the making. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do the you come know of my blood? The comeuppance. I swear. Like, it, it, it has to be good. Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. I mean, even even what he's wearing, Clive wears black. He he wears white. <laughs> like it's just, it's inverse. Infiltrating the Dominion. He's a blonde. Clive is a just dark-haired character. Radiance has lost one capital already. Maybe they'll team up. Maybe I don't know. I got the feeling that he's just gonna... he's gonna murder her. Or all of them. Because, obviously, they're, they're evil. Because their death would mean, like, saving the country, basically. Because he, he's sending the country to war, and in his father's own words, it's like, you know, you can just make more people. You can rebuild things. Just 
breed more people. Who cares who dies? So I think he realizes his father's a monster. So it might be a case where he, he just takes all of them out just to prevent an evil. We'll see. Because Clive and that guy have had no interaction. But that being said, Clive and Joshua have. So who knows what Joshua said to him. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible that Joshua told told him about what happened. Because you know we're talking about the same mother here. It's like, hey, this is what mom did to my father in the interest of power. He got told a story. I'd be willing to bet that was the story he got told. <sighs> Gotta keep playing. Yeah, we'll find out. Just thinking out loud. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Water. Good sir, can I interest you in? A Oh dear. Yeah, that looks good. How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. Dude, I would make a pizza with that shit. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry at a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. I'll take the Like I bet that's the end of her arc. It's just her come up and says she tries the same shit again and then just I'm yeah. so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? I guess Slow down, that's just how she ends. Tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep it. some of these words, nout. Like nothing else, nout. It's like some very, very thick English. Of my 
my sight. Okay. Bloody crimson caravan scooping up all the best customers. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two birder to the crystalline dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait. Just don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. The what? Okay, they're not going to explain that one, but Eloise, owner of the Crimson Caravans, a highly esteemed porterage firm in Bocklad. Eloise has a knack for business and a head for figures, which she used to build her business from the ground up to the success it is today. Okay. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. The Fist? The Men of the Fist, okay. Dalmechia's standing army, while officially an organ of the Republic, each of its five states is granted relative autonomy with regard to the management of its troops. Aside from certain specialized squads, battle deployments are mostly comprised of small units employing a mixture of foot soldiers and battle mages. The former are known and feared for their curved swords and prodigious axes, and the deadly skill with which they wield them. Okay, so we've seen these guys before. Traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back? And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, 
I don't know, try swimming across the strip. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Here, put this on. No. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I have so many of these. Furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Out of my sight, wretch. Peaches and pears. I mean, I feel like these these little badges could get forged. It's not the best security measure. Caravan stops next. Juicy pears. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah. And Louise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. I'll take the large one. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be fish for sale, fresh sorted and smoked. Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty. Orphans? It's orphans. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Just when half bribe them. Give them. Give them something. Hey, kid. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. I was trying to cast fire. It didn't work. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. 
Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Just say no, kids. Caravan stops next to each other. Jug of snake spit for the rough. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. And pears. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Okay. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Watch him be annoying. What you want? <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. Oh, they're gonna get it now. He bobbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Where are you going? Thunder, fire, anything. <laughs> Still, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. They're not gonna rat him out. There was a boy who ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but. But what? Thank you. But what? But what? <laughs> like, I feel like we're missing an important piece of information. But he's dead, but he got torn to shreds by, by the chocobos. But he disappeared into thin air. What? Oh, shit. I'm cornered. It's all right, Honza. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Honza. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. Who went for their guilt? Did I make say before I started streaming? Yeah. Just. It's already been had. Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not- Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. 
Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Yeah, dickhead. Put the sword down. <laughs> like... Bright should have been the first clue. Seeing a friend, hmm, maybe I'm wrong. But no, he goes, hey, what are you doing with these people? And why would she? I'm just a back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate. Stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. I don't like this guy. <laughs> it's just... Was clearly wrong, still had the goal to ask. What are you doing with them? Oh. So... What's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones, and we crush them. You get your traders pass back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. He has a bit of an attitude. Where are they camped? Don't worry. Hmm. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. It's probably going to be right there. That would mean admitting he was wrong, and some people have a hard time doing that. Yep. That's that then. Daddy. And his demeanor is still very like just seems angry or annoyed. When he was the one being rude. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. These are the ringleaders. But at least we know we're on the right track. It's okay, look. With situations like that, they usually get comeuppance. Well, not comeuppance, just like... You know, their own hubris. <laughs> Causes their downfall.
fewer now. It's the dog's name, Doggo. No. It's Toggle. I don't get to name the dog. Recruits are natural ball ne'er do wells. Tor Gal. Like T O R. Hans has got nimble fingers. Over. G is it G O L or G A L? I can't remember. I think it's G A L. Let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. I forgot what his spiritual form is called. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, Fenrir, that's right. His super form is called Fenrir. I can hear it, it's like, it's like, DOGO! <laughs> so it's like a muffled T, so it's like, DOGO! DOGO! Get him, DOGO! How many is that now? They say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. That was such a CSI Miami line. <laughs> Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. What was, was our thanks, huh? No. Oh, no, thank you. Just, hey, be sure to say that I did something. Just rem remember that I should be congratulated, not you. Absolute wanker of a character. Ah, 
Clive, how goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust. Oh no, he got in my he got in our way. He got up in our face. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is past. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I, would. I don't hear a thank you. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly, would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be is a pleasure. Is he going to say thank you? The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. A compass. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that your friend took it both. <laughs> Another patch. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? Pass. Try the caravan. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. I mean, at least she was thankful, even though she is like a bit of a scam artist as well, but brother's just a wanker. Peaches and pears. Come on, come on. Jug of snake spit for the road. Juicy pears. What I really want to be is a rat. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh. Thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hunter. Just L. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job. She's but talk about isn't shares. the reason the kid took the job was money? It wasn't because he was being threatened. <laughs> it's like, at the end of the day, we're talking about an orphan here. I don't think the threat was the problem. I think it was the lack of income and house. That's all right. I've got it back now. And maybe food. 
You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm the need to survive. Yeah, exactly. That's the kid took the job because survival. I'll do me best. Had nothing to do with being threatened. I mean, maybe a little, but that's, I'm not convinced that's the reason. Like, at the end of the day, the kid <laughs> needs to survive. Kind of just took away his means of surviving now. But I guess he has a new job. Remember, Goots. We're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries... <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Meanwhile... Tensions. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. Oh. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What's a like that flower's gotta be symbolic for something later. What do you know of my oh, here we go. Part two. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Incest, I get it, but like... Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Ooh. You my father. <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. So yes. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. 
And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. What is... Oh, she trampled the flower. Because his father keeps giving out that flower. What's the meaning of the flower? I bet it's tied to his mother or something. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. Least, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. Don't apologize for her, Jesus, Jesus Christ. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time like, as that is done, she didn't even blink an eye at, at his death. I forgot all of the words she is like most unfortunate, but oh well, like some, something along those lines. Jeez. Let's stick to the skies together. And bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Does she know he's alive? No, she doesn't. She knows Clive's alive. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabelle ah. <laughs> ah. shall be put to death. There it is. Empire restored. There it is. Called it. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. Oh, 
What's going on? What is it, boy? Oh, shit. I've seen that kid so many times. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. That quite the jump <laughs> jumped onto the second story of the building. Oh shit. Okay. Well, probably gonna find out. The city's on fire. Shogun is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? I thought oh here. Yeah. Watchman of Sentry is to be slain. Dun 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 dun. His Highness's orders were clear. The people are to... Those were Imperial Dragoons. Come up, Bunts. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. There's probably a plot twist. I bet the the kid has some creepy powers. Just hope he's all right. Do that. Identify yourself. You have to. It's just it has that energy, you know. Oh shit. Ugh, this asshole. I hate these things. Just that jumping is so disruptive. Oh, now double jump. Oh, 
Come up and that's what it is. Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. <laughs> Giant enemy crab. Okay, so they evacuated. The Pretender. Damn. There it is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. I wonder if this is going to be just... If he's going to see it. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna be annoyed if he sees it and he's like, no one deserved that. <laughs> just like he's still. I mean, look, I guess it... don't let her live rent free. But at the same time. Either way, like, this is what I've been waiting for since the start of the game, pretty much. How's that thing still alive? There we go. Another tanky one. Okay. 
somehow we're kind of forced to move here. <laughs> this, is, this wasn't part of the plan originally. What now? Well, I mean, that still seems like an eternity away. But, I mean, wouldn't he have been evacuated? Like... The soul just said people have been evacuated, so... I guess we'll see. Ah, oh, crap. It's another one of those lances. Yeah, good. Just completely avoid damage. The spell. Probably didn't take the maximum advantage of that. It's been relatively quiet. More enemies here, right? Most likely. Getting closer. What did I just do? I think I just disoriented myself. Oh. Wait, but this is just a chest. Did I go backwards? I may have just gone backwards. <laughs> okay, I mean... This is the downside of not having a mini-map. Still says that way.
There we go. Back to normal. ended. Now we probably just watch. Can you see him anywhere? It's a dragon. using the dog's regen. Jesus, thing is tanky. Probably be doing that more often. as a sponge <laughs> it's just soaking up damage I think it has something in store for us oh shit no hold on Dance. Oh shit. To me, boy. Nice try. 
try. Okay, this has become a thing. Jeez, that AOE. Find out what happens to her. <laughs> this dragon is getting in the way of that. Uh, over here, Clive. Uh, he was all right. Good. There you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, so we just came to rescue him. What now? Is this is the this is the oh shit moment. What the hell is it doing up there? Uh. I'm sure there's some explanation to this. Earlier. No? Okay. somehow. Oh shit. Just shielded itself. It's 
So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A new view slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nana'd never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Okay. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Are they going to say point of no return? Ah, shit. I might need him. Of course. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the, that's the part where it, it's, uh, hey, save the game. Oh boy, alright. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Oh, damn, this has become a mess. Another flood. Already turned them. There's no reason to hold back. Alright, cool. So everyone's crazy now. Hopefully I find more heals along the way, because most of my heal items are, uh, gone. I'm gonna have to look carefully. The music is very dramatic right now. I don't want crafting materials. Give me potions. Potions is what I need. Not looking good. I wish I could carry more potions. Like the limit of all just seems insane. Must be a way to 
climb up. Potion? Potion. Okay. Oh shit, it's brother. He's dead. Phoenix. Joshua. What is he doing? Keeping the Harmon occupied. Joshua! Joshua! Don't, Clyde. It's too dangerous. Joshua, I'm coming! We have to save him. I really want to know what happened. What the fuck led to this? Did mom die? This music, though. What was that? Bahamut, he'll kill us all. There he is. Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive, he can't hear you. Joshua! What did you just say? They're heading for the heart. And so should we. This one. Over here. Oh, I hurt my healing last. What I say the climb? Yeah. Hang on. Nothing there. Okay, just double checking. I hear growling. We don't have time for this. Ah, this the me boy. Oh boy. Oh, just in time. Got it. 
wasted as much as I could with that. Jeez, that death beam. Level up. That was a full heal, so. We're going to find out, huh? He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. Oh, dog, I sense something. The fuck? It looks like somebody to someone is getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. Neither do I. Necrophobe? What? Not whatever this is. Jeez. Seems to be pretty aggressive with these attacks. So much for watching movie. <laughs> it's still no, still go time. fire what the hell it's using all the elements By some plot twist, this is like stepbrother. Because we can use all the elements. Sick. 
I haven't come across this character before, so. Fuck energy swell. Not much damage. Double clock, double cast. Jeez. No epic music for this. Right, what is this thing? These beasts. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. Still not there yet, I guess. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. <laughs> oh, here we go. Humpley still calls her mother. He, he tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. My darling. Darling boy. His eyes are going to be lit up. This is the child you made with the Emperor. <laughs> oh, shit. Mother. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Oh. There's blood on the kid's face. Oh, Elwin, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike Jeez. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix! Her movements are very erratic as <laughs> well. She's moving extra quick. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. She's basing her entire existence around having a kid. How the nobles laughed 
that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. Oh, shut up. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Oh. What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Fucking hell. I bet there are a lot of people that would get just so frustrated by this because I know people that have parents that kind of behave in the way she does. Where they're like, you can't imagine how it feels like to be me. Oh, fuck. Shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you. Is he dead? I doubt it. Either unconscious or resurrecting. Also, very cool. Like, does this right in front of his mother, like... Oh, what's that? Who's the one who couldn't transform now? I guess she gets to see what she threw away, huh? I got the feeling her end's gonna be that her son dies, and that, yeah, that's, that's it. And the sons that she have has alive just don't care about her. They just leave her be. Like, maybe living is probably the crueler thing right now. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. like a flower is that the symbolic reasoning of the flower interesting Whoa, look. Oh man, that looks cool, the reflection.
Flames of Rebirth. Oh. Brother tag team. My brother alone. Spitfire. We'll face the consequences. A spit flare. R2 and Triangle, Steam of Light, that sees anything in this path. Big Laser Beam. Very cool. is very tanky. <laughs> there we go, staggering. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't have my death laser. Oh shit, we're control okay, we're controlling the Phoenix again. The music is awesome. Yeah. Jeez, I was so like into that. I didn't even look at chat for a while. The same Okay, multiple targets. Alright, so circles, multiple targets, triangle. Got it. Alright. Holy shit.
What are those? What are those? What are those? Still super tanky. I would imagine there's like a part two to this fight. Jesus, about even. Oh, fuck what now? You got flat. Oh no. Okay, this is... It's not... This is like fake. It should have gone off by now. But, you know, appreciate the tension. But that was not five seconds. <laughs> Clive. Oh, right, we're aiming at laser together. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, 
What the Whoa. Jeez. Not good. Use that a bit too hastily. Okay, sorry, I had to put all my attention into that fight. <laughs> um, hey, chat, remember me? The person who hasn't been really talking for like the last five minutes, if not longer. Oh, he's not even dead. Ah, oh, crap, he's gonna eat it. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Oh shit.
Oh, okay. Power of friendship, please. This is beyond friendship. These are brothers. We've both gone through some serious shit. <laughs> so now it's a space battle. If Freet Risen and has versions of most of Freet's. Yeah, sure. In addition to Wildfire. Light speed similar to Phoenix Shift. Okay. Okay. How can we hope to match such power by trusting in our own? Whoa, this is... Jeez, these visuals. Holy shit.
burn the world. Not today. Come on, Joshua. Man, this fight. <laughs> it's just like one massive fucking dopamine rush. Just explosion of visuals everywhere, man. Just could not keep my eyes off it. And the music as well. Just jeez. That was that was great. Well, you better hope level up. <laughs> that did felt a it did feel a bit Dragon Ball at the end, though. I don't care. I'm a fan of Dragon Ball. Shatter it. Oh fu oh he has a stab wound in his head. What's going on there? Is that from the fight or did something happen? Yeah, like, what led to this? That's that's the thing that I wanna know. This is really like <laughs> It's just, the PS5 justification on this one is high. Are you proud of me, mother? No, but like, what is she going to say, realizing her son is alive? Joshua! I climb! My brother, I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. Doggo's happy. He's still alive. Is he still? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Okay, that explains everything. Kid is Oh shit. I thought it was gonna be her. But you know what? This is this is what I said is like the worst thing that can happen to her right now is for the, the kid to die and not her. Is done. The demon 
that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. Oh boy. The building's going to collapse and she's not going to want to leave. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. Do it. Heal him. Fine. Doggo will be fine. Doggo is a mystical doggo. Oh shit. That wasn't intentional. Oh shit. Can nothing be done to call them off. Okay, now we get to see what happened. The dragoons answer to none but his imperial highness. The council is powerless to intervene. We're hearing reports of rebel madness is this the honor. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man. Go. You're ready. By the light, Dion. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. That smug fucking look on her face every time, man. Not another word, Dion. From the very get-go of this game. You may not see it. The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! No one is doing it. Because they know. Every citizen who falls, another can be bred. That line, yeah. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire? Of its rulers? Of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear. Our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? Here's the creepy kid. With great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. 
Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's why there was blood on his face. Fucking hell. Yep. Gods! F father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end. As I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not again. Brother? He saw his memories. It's a long story. But he survived. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. I mean, props to these two for still saying mother after this. Like, after everything. After even this conversation. Get away from me! The fuck? This is all just a dream! Just a bad dream! Oh boy. You will not take me, Shadow! You will not take me! Oh, shit. I have a theory about her. Mother. Maybe the reason she was what she was. Just think about it. There's this shadow creature trying to take over Clive. So it's possible this shadow creature's just been around her the whole time, like... Yeah, trying to take over Clive, so... There's that, and then this whole thing with this other kid. Where the kid was clearly, like, possessed by him. So it would stand the reason that she was too, and I think she just woke up there. Together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own. I think that's what they're trying to hint at because she panicked. Because she thought maybe she was going to get possessed again. Set you apart. That's one form of interpretation. Or just she went crazy, like major PTSD. And, you know, her son died. That's not her son, that's just a shadow that's chasing her. That's her guilt. Genesis shall a new age of reason begin. But I've been honestly been waiting for that to happen since the start. Just where where is the, the Greek tragedy for her? Relax, your majesty. Oh. 
What? What? Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Unless it's not really her, it's just something taking her form. Such feeble creatures. Uh... No, something else is going on here. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. Something else is happening here. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. A wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Oh, it's okay. This dude doing it. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect. Of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. Shit. They're gonna go after him personally. Shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness. And Hang on. This guy. A reminder of who this guy is. He's the king of Alu, dominant of the dominant of Odin. Yeah. So the last. All right, got it. Thus of his will, but while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you find new thoughts and sever everyone. Kill his friends and which has no physical form. Family. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. That's how, uh... Yep. This is how he was corrupted, I guess. Uh... Oh, no, that's... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. That's what would have happened to that other kid. Just... By all means... You know... Love your children. Tell them you love them. It's important that you do. But don't take it to that level where... Oh, man. <laughs> they just... They become twisted creatures. The, uh... The Oedipus... Complex. <laughs> No, this is, this is, I, if you were to show me footage of this game and not tell me what it was, I would not guess Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy would probably be the last thing I would guess. How is your brother? Asleep. It's nice, it's nice that we're reunited with him though. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. 
She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Oh boy. The power of light. So we got Bahamut's presence. Wings. Okay. Be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Let's see how this looks like now. So it would stand to reason there's two more. I'm so worried. Like, it's one of them's the guy. Ugh, fuck. One of them's the guy we just saw, you know, the creepy guy. And then if we don't see anyone else, the final one's going to be Jill and it's going to suck. So it's heading in that direction. Or brother, one or the other, like. It's either brother or Jill. Either way, it fucking sucks, alright? I saved it, right? <laughs> Just double, double check. There's no autosave feature. Okay, there we go. Things fall apart. Alright. This is where I'm leaving it for tonight. Tonight, you got a bit of a double... Double, uh, playthrough of this, because, uh... Well, I don't stream on Tuesdays, but also I had a very, very long day and I needed to chill, so... This was good. The last uh, hour of this was was really great. So, all right, we'll pick this up Wednesday, probably. We'll see. But if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Uh, hope you have been enjoying the game so far. And remember to click buttons for the algorithm if you want to support the channel here. Or maybe there's two videos that have popped up and you want to watch me play something else. Hope you do. Till next time. Bye, YouTube. See ya around.